Hey Leo, welcome to Queen Air and the Tarot. Today we are going to do your mid-July general love reading. Now keep in mind these are general readings, which means they cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome. Come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. So Leo, when I was meditating over you guys' energy, the song that I heard was I'll Always Come Back to You by the Isley Brothers. I will leave the link to that song in the description box below so you can listen to it, follow the reading if you so choose to. So as of lately, I've always been guided to look up the artists and their zodiac sign. And although I didn't look up the signs of all the members in the group, the main lead singer, Ronald Isley, is a Gemini, okay? So some of you guys could be dealing with a Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individual, specifically a sun sign or something that happened in Gemini season. Because I'm going to show you at the very back of the deck, you have Major Arcana, the Magician, that is Gemini Virgo. And then at the very bottom of the deck, you have Gemini Libra Aquarius, so definitely strong Gemini reference. Also, again, I'm going to say Virgo, okay, for some of you all. And is in connection to someone that you may have some type of love interest with. And when I was meditating over the energy, you know, the message that I got was that this person always comes back to you because they've never stopped loving you, okay? Or you may feel like this about this individual. I feel like there could have been some deception, most definitely in a pre-shuffle. I also seen a seven of swords, liar, cheater, manipulator, sneak. Um, and with it being seven and we are in the seventh month, some of you guys could find out about some type of deception. But I don't feel like the deception is what you're thinking initially when I say that. What I'm getting with the deception is that this person is disguising how they feel about you. Like how much they love you, or you may be doing this to them. Because I always say this, this is a planet behind him, but it's making me think about the chakras and that orb, that green orb and chakras is the heart chakra. And I feel like you see how he looks kind of aloof, like he's very expressionless, emotionless. You can't tell what he's thinking. I feel like somebody is very good at hiding their emotions and feelings, okay? They're trying to disguise it by keeping themselves busy with other things or... You know, the magician is a master of deception or a master of illusion. So someone is very good at playing a role of being unbothered and like they don't care. But they, I feel like this person always has, like you've always had this person's heart. But if you notice, he has the, the plan is behind him. So somebody has been pushing their heart or their emotions behind them. I'm telling you, I keep, this is, yes, it's a planet. But I keep getting that, th that green chakra, that's your, your heart chakra. Even here, the infinity symbol is green like this person has always infinity is always forever this person has always loved you Ooh, that's deep but they don't want to show it because look at it you can't see her eyes this definitely could be a female individual or if you you know just put it where it applies i just feel like somebody is guarding their heart because look here's the thing where her where these swords are down across this will be the area where her heart would be and they're cross the swords are crossed like somebody's trying to protect their heart Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and shuffle a couple times so we get you guys major arcana, okay? Which would be the sun card. We'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after, and then we'll get clarifiers for both. For Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals. Yeah, somebody could definitely be dealing with a Gemini or something that happened in Gemini season. It doesn't have to be the case. I, I'm just getting that. Also, the Geminis are the twins. So this person could be showing you one side of them and not the other. Like, they don't want to show you how deeply they could love, or you could be feeling like this, okay? I'm going to change the cards to the top and the bottom here also, okay? So now currently at the bottom of the deck, you have the moon. I'm telling you, somebody's hiding from you how they feel. But I feel like in cancer season, it's coming to the surface. You see how you have that crab there? That's cancer. It's coming to the surface. You're also going to be dealing with a Piscean because the moon resonates with the energy of Pisces. But with the moon, it's things hidden, things unknown, things we do not have clarity about. Also, we have a very powerful moon phase coming up on the 13th of this month, okay? So for some of y'all, this person may finally speak up. You see how at one point they were quiet and not saying anything. Now you see how that hot cold is by the throat chakra, speaking the truth. Somebody could be speaking up about how they feel. And if you notice, also this crab is being pulled out of this water by a chain. So it could definitely be that it's like something about that moon energy is pulling something out of them. Because you know the moon is your emotions and feelings. So it's something about that moon energy that's pulling something out of them or you. Also, you guys did show up in Cancer's reading quite a bit. So if you're dealing with a Cancer individual, you may want to look at the Cancer reading as well. Okay. So let's go ahead and go through the deck until we get sunk. Yeah. Wow. 
Major Arcana, um, the Justice, Libra energy. You got two Major Arcanas back to back, and then you got the Five of Swords, arguments, conflicts, disagreements. So some of you guys could be um, healing a situation or bringing some type of balance to a situation where there was some type of arguments, disagreements, and chaos. Definitely getting strong, Gemini. I'm going to tell you that right now because you have the Five of Swords, and Gemini season does start in May. Let's see. Again, we're going to get the Sun card, the card that comes before, and the card that comes after. For Leo, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus individuals. I keep hearing the song, Always Come Back to You, the Isley Brothers. It's like this person is going to return to you, or you may want to return to them. Some, hell, you both may be thinking about each other right now during this time. You may have been separated from for a while because look how far we are in the deck and we still don't have your card. And I unintentionally stopped here. You have the Wheel of Fortune. It's fated and destined for you and this person to come back together. Possibly it could be happening in your time frame in Leo. So yeah, woo, look at this. There is somebody's coming back towards you. Eight of Wands, fast moving communication, coming in very quickly and unexpectedly. Right in front of that, the Six of Wands, your energy, Leo, going towards the um, Wheel of Fortune. You, you have both of these cards going towards the Wheel of Fortune. So something faded and destined is headed your direction very quickly. You could be an August Leo specifically that applies to. Don't have to be. But there's something coming in very quickly. Also within the next six to eight days, Something very positive and abundant could be coming in. Okay. So right in front of you, you have the Page of Cups. And behind you, you have the King of Swords. I told you, a lot of you, wow, Two of Cups. So a lot of you guys, look, the King of Swords is going towards the Two of Cups. A lot of you guys are going to have communication with someone who has very strong either air or water in their chart. The, you know, here's the thing. Let me move this over now, Okay. So you have sword up, that's yes, communication, so it's communication and mental. And then a page of cups is, um, pages are always messengers. Now what's interesting, what I'm noticing is that both of their backs are facing your energy. But here's the thing, his back is facing it, but he's kind of looking towards us. So it could be an air sign that's coming in and a water sign that's leaving. But whatever the case, I feel like it's, it's like love related. Some type of soulmate union is coming in for a lot of you guys. I definitely feel like a water sign has left your life. This person could have been a little bit younger than you or just emotionally immature. Now, if it's not a water sign, it could be that, you know, you could be wrapping up a cycle, a karmic cycle with someone by the end of cancer season. And it does look like an air sign is coming in for you. Again, Gemini. You have strong Gemini and Libra. Okay. So let's go ahead and see what we get for your clarifiers. Bottom of the deck, three of swords. Yeah, I do feel like there was an ending with someone. Either in Cancer season, which we are currently in, or with a water sign person, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So let's go ahead and part the deck. Six of Cups. Yeah, I feel like, I'm telling you, I feel like somebody has walked out of your life. If you notice, there's two people here, and then right here, there's one person leaving. So it's like you're coming into a new relationship or a new situation, but somebody is definitely leaving. I do feel like a strong water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, is someone who is now a past person. But I'm going to tell you, I'm hearing right now that a new person is here to step. Like somebody has their eye on you. Look how he's looking at us. Like somebody has their eye on you. This person has claimed you. It feels like somebody may have known about, because you got the three of swords here and then you got these three people. Somebody may have already known about a third party, but they're like, I don't care what's going on. I've claimed you. Or you may feel like this about them, but I feel like this will be the other person. Like someone was waiting for something to end in a relationship with you and another person. Yep, I said waiting. And then look at that. You got the tempest card, patiently waiting for something. And it is fire, Sagittarius. But then you got the cups here. And look, right where his heart is, there's a triangle, third party triangle. Yep, that's what I was getting. Like somebody may have, um, was waiting for you to end something with someone else. And now they come in to stake their claim on you. Or vice versa. You could be doing this as well. Ace of Cups. This person or you, first, middle, last initial could be W, M, T, J, C, U, G, or also an H, first, middle, last initial. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, doesn't have to be. I just feel like that's new love coming in. That's what I'm saying. You're going from a page to a king. You get what I'm saying? So these are two completely different people. This person who is staking a claim on you, they, you may have already known this person because the Six of Cups, which we had already, is a card of uh, reconciliation. Have a history with somebody. So you may have had history with this person, but you went in a different direction and it didn't work out. And it looks like this person's coming back in. Like you guys keep, I, I don't know, I'm hearing like 
You guys keep rotating in and out of each other's life. Like this, I don't feel like neither one of these people are new. Even this person that's coming in who wants long term with you, I don't feel like this person's new. I feel like you have history with this individual. Now, if it's not physically in this 3D, like in this on the earth room, it could definitely be because you guys have soul contracts with each other. Okay. Bottom of the deck, six of swords. <laughs> six of swords are right is leaving a situation, going into a different direction and reverse, not leaving. That's why I said always come back to you. Like you guys have somebody who's always, no matter what it's like, you guys keep coming back to each other. Let's get a clarify for the page of cups. Clarify for the page of cups for Leo. Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus, Page of Cups, okay? Look at that. <laughs> Five of Swords, and at the back of the deck, Three of Cups. I'm telling you, there was third-party stuff here. So you got one, two, three people here, and then Three of Cups in reverse. There was a third party. So somebody was waiting for you to get out of a relationship, or you were waiting for someone to get out of a relationship before someone, like, literally decided like no it's it's you and me we're gonna be together somebody may have even been willing to fight for you because you do see how you have both of these swords upright like somebody wants to fight for you it, definitely because of the swords being up verbally told you that yes we we gonna be together we are meant to be together like i'm just getting a strong energy of someone knowing that you're their soulmate or wanting to be with you long term you know because there was definitely a third party hands down and I feel like the third party could have definitely been a water sign. And as I said, the time was 1122. So this message is definitely on point for a lot of you all. Let's get a clarify for the king of swords. Clarify. Okay. <laughs> you, If you have not watched it, if you're dealing with someone who has cancerian energy, watch the cancer reading. Even if not, I would strongly suggest that you watch it because we are in cancer season. And, and a lot of this energy popped up for them also. A lot of it, like literally almost all of it. With the king of swords, you have the nine of wands in reverse. Nine of Wands is the wounded warrior, someone who is tired of fighting, someone who, you know, they've been through more than enough of their of challenges. And reverse is like no longer fighting because I don't feel like they have to fight anymore because it does look like something has ended. And now they're realizing like, okay, I'm going to be this person's long-term consort. Because I always tell you guys, kings and queens, they don't come for something short-lived. They come for something long-term. And this person is sitting very comfortably on his throne. You may also have a very nice home or very nice surroundings. You may have a very good job. You may be a manager, a team lead, or something like, or your person could be. And so they're able to provide a very plush, comfortable lifestyle. But I'm also going to say here, if you look at it, how it has all this stone and metal around, it's like this person could be very hard with expressing their emotions and feelings, you know. But it's like they need to let down their guards, and I feel like they will. This could be you because you do have fire energy here. Whatever the case, it looks like a decision is ultimately going to be made when it comes to love. Because you do have him with his soil, which means he's ready to make some type of long-term decision. He's sure and certain. The king of swords is sure and certain of what they want to do. And I definitely, wow, what's the, who sings this? Um, Tina Turner. I just heard, I don't want to fight anymore. I don't know the exact name of the song. She said, I don't care who's wrong or right. I don't really want to fight no more. That's what I'm hearing right now. Like somebody's like, I'm tired of fighting. I don't want to be in my head about the situation. I just want peace. I just want things to be, you know, is what I'm getting here. Somebody's coming back towards you guys for sure. Okay. So Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus and the visuals. As always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care. Bye.